Hey, it's Bianca Lotus Siri Designs. Let's take a look at how I transformed this vanity from blah to amazing. This was one of those rare Goodwill finds. I often don't have much luck in Goodwill stores. However, this day, I think that this piece was meant for me. Once I gave it a thorough inspection in the store, I knew this piece had to be mine. This is mine now. And mine it was. Let's take it home and get to work. Obviously, I did a lot of the work off camera. However, I can show you a little bit of what I documented. Let's start with the paint. I started with a base of coffee bean. I will oftentimes use Dixie Bells, blacks or deep browns as a base coat for my work. This way, when I blend over it with my lighter colors, I do get some of the dark specks that come through. Let's talk about the colors I am using for the blend. The purple is a custom mix of aubergine and barred red, two of Dixie Belle's colors, which are purple and red. I am using burlap, which is the lighter color that you see. And I am also using colored greens and evergreen along the base. To create this look, I simply stipple on the colors where I want them and using Dixie Belle's Best Dang brush, blend the colors together so that my paint blend takes on a cloudier texture. As far as my blend technique, I am swirling the Best Dang brush around in a circular motion to create this type of blendy effect. Once I had one coat blended on the piece, I did go back and blend a little bit more in the areas I felt necessary. Here's a little side view action for you. I use the same technique that I used on the front here on the side. It's also worth noting all of the filigree and accents that you see on the piece with the exception of the legs are Would You Bend moldings. For those of you who don't know, Would You Bend is one of my favorite embellishment tools. When you warm these appliques up, you can bend them to fit the shape of your piece. For my last step, after sealing the piece, I went ahead and I added some gilding wax to the details. The gold you see is a custom mix between Dixie Belle's gold gilding wax and copper gilding wax. I did about a two to one ratio. The purple is one of Dixie Belle's new chameleon gilding waxes, in this case, lilac. To apply the gilding wax to the details, I am using the side of a brush for the gold mixture and for the purple, which is the lilac you see in the center, I am using a small artist brush to be able to brush it on finely without spilling over into the areas I don't want it. I use the same process on the sides. Once I got all of my gilding wax in place, I did let it rest for about 20 minutes before going in and buffing. It is important that you buff your gilding wax. This allows for the wax to have a brilliant sheen, whereas without buffing, it takes on more of a matte finish. And that's it, here's the finished product. I couldn't be happier with the results. Thanks for watching this quick video. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And wherever you're watching, if you wanna purchase any of these products, please use the link in the description to do so. Thank you so much for your support and thank you for watching. I will catch you all next time.